What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Camps Outdoors. In today's video, we're still working on these sneak boxes. We're just doing everything we can to them. We got this one that's just about basically done. And we got the other one if you watch my other videos where we're doing this boat. Completely redid this one as well. And then today, what I'm doing is we're start installing homemade guide posts. Now, if you look online and you look at these guide posts, you're looking at about $100. And I'm not spending it out on these guide posts. What I have here, I spent about $24. Everything was purchased at Lowe's. Let's get into it. Let's see exactly what I did. All right, so I'm about halfway through the process here. I had to start it. Oh man, I should probably make a video on this. So what I did is the lights for the trailer, they were originally mounted here. I used the existing holes that the lights were on. So what I did was I got a 12 foot PVC. This is inch and a half PVC. I cut it down. You can see there, it goes across. And I got two bolts coming through. I go through both sides and it's bolted through. Now I'm gonna put another clamp around here to really stable it up, but th this is on there pretty good. Then you come up with a 90 degree, and then I have the remaining. There's about four and a half foot on each. You don't have to have these caps, but you can. I like it, keep some of the water out of there. So then you come around, now this one, I've already started doing a lot of the work to it. So I used the PVC glue with cement. This one is not glued yet, because I'm still working on it. So when you run your trailer wires, they come up through. What I did was I just drilled a hole on the back side, as you can see there, and then ran the, the wires all the way up. I don't know if you can see down in there. So then wires pop out through the side here and I drill a nice little hole, I'll fill it out with silicone when we're done. So I got all my wire here. Then the lights, there's a couple of options you can do with the lights. You can run a bracket of some sort with like, like a U and have it right. I have these lights facing sideways, does the same thing. And then I just drill two holes. And you can see I had to draw out that side so I can get the socket in there. It's not the prettiest hole, but you get the gist. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to do the same exact thing to get the bottom one in there. Once I do that, we'll connect these wires, cut this real long thing I got going on here. Make this look nice and good. Now, if you had the LED lights, you're going to have a white ground. Now, normally you would just ground it back down there. When you're screwing on the um, when you're screwing on the lights, with this you're not going to be able to because of the PVC. It's not metal and won't be grounded. So what I'm going to end up having to do is cut this off, extend this, run this ground wire all the way back down the tube, back out, and I'll probably ground it out right back on there where I normally do. And that goes for the same thing on the other side. So we'll go ahead and we'll get that done. Get it all nice and tidy. And then once I get all of that done, I'm gonna go back in with glue, the cement glue stuff, do this one. For safety measures also, because I don't really trust the glue 100%, I am gonna drill a hole through the 90, through this PVC, coming out the other side and put a nut and bolt on both sides to ensure that it does not come off. So let's go ahead and Get this other one done. All right, so we got our other light here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up light putting this one with the, the license plate, clear light that goes in. I'm gonna have that going inwards towards the boat, not outward in case it, you know, might say, oh, it's shining on somebody. So I'm gonna have it shining inwards towards the boat. Um, so we got our two bolts here. So what I'm gonna do is line it up I have a spot on here that's already marked, same type thing. Drill the first hole, then 
when I slide that in, I'll be able to mark where the second hole is. Drill that out. These will be able to slide in. We'll drill our holes in our back. Be able to put the nuts on. Run the wires after so you don't, when you're drilling, you don't hit the wires. Learn that mistake on the first one. Although I didn't hit them too bad. I didn't damage them. But for this one, drill first, run the wire second. So let's go ahead. Let's get this done. Now one thing that might make it a little bit easier for you is when you drill this first hole, as long as you can drill straight, is to keep on drilling through to the other side. Use it as straight as possible so you can tell when your nut is going to be on the other side. It is really hard sometimes to judge exactly where it's going to be because you got to be able to get the socket through there. So put that through, you'll be good to go. Let's get this in. We can mark where this is going to go. So we'll slide this one in first. We'll see that this one. Ended up going right there by that one. So we got that nice and lined up. Same spot. I'm going right off the writing on the actual uh, PVC. Clean up the hole a little bit. Bring this around. Well, it should slide right on in. Get the wires out of the way. And bam. There you go, you got your second one in. Now I'm gonna pop it back out. I'll drill through, drill through the other side, get this all set up, start running the wires. Stay tuned. All right, so we got the holes drilled for the front. We lined it up. We drilled right on through to the side. Same size bit. I went a little to my biggest bit. And I just don't have a bit big enough. Um, so I got to like round it out with the smaller bit, sharper bit. I'm just rounding out as much as you can. I don't have a bit that big. I just don't have the tool to do it exactly. So we got to improvise. As long as the socket fits through there, as you can see, this one just barely doesn't make it. So I gotta do that one a little bit, do that one, then we'll be able to go, put the light on, mount it up. And we'll draw a hole for our light uh, wiring on this side, we'll run the wire up through, then we'll be able to connect both and get started on that. All right, so I got really tired of drilling. That was taking forever just wasn't happening so once i got it started enough i went i got my jigsaw and i cut them out with the jigsaw and then made them look a little bit better decent wise with the drill like i said i don't have this glued yet so i was able just to take it right on off we'll slide it back in turn it back where it was now we'll install the actual light and get that all settled so we got our light right here pop the cap off 
Maybe. I think we're on there. Twist it back. Now we'll go get the nuts and the bolts and or the uh, nuts and the washer and slide it right on. Let's get it going. We got our uh, washers. We got our nuts. Let's go ahead and put the light on. I had to go find the washers and nuts. Didn't remember where I put them. Getting the washers on. Are actually a little bit tricky because it's really hard if you got big hands big fingers like me it's really hard to get the washer on so what I end up doing is I grab a pair of needle nose and I slide it on with the needle nose Just love it. <laughs> second nut on and there you have it two lights keep them up out of the water if you're like us we hunt salt water we're here on the coast of jersey my dog stop digging we're on the coast of jersey we hunt mostly salt water that's the main reason of getting these lights up out of the water these are submersible lights. It's not even about submersible. It's the salt water. Salt water ruins everything. Stainless steel bolts. Gonna last longer than me. So now we'll go ahead and we'll put the other nuts on. Secure these up real well. Start wiring. All right, guys. So we got it everything all hooked up wired up put away we'll go a little overview so we ran our white wire we attached some black regular old 16 gauge wire we ran that down that runs all the way down the pipe we have it popping out right here now right here we have it being grounded out you see all this extra because i still have to glue right here together so I got a little bit of play, so when I pop this off, I'll feed that back up in there so the wires aren't always being tight. We got our yellow, we got our brown. It's connected, it's down inside. For extra precaution, I put a little tape right here where this moves just in case. And then same thing on the other side. You got the tape right here, we got the white wire all the way down. Right onto the ground, put the screw directly to the trailer. Green and brown, same thing, all the way in, all buttoned away. Now all we have to do, throw a little glue on these fittings, the cement primer. You can pick that up at Lowe's, Home Depot. Comes in a pack, uh, you get the primer and the cement. It's about $10, it'll last for a while. You can use it on all kinds of different things. And then like I said earlier, I'm actually gonna add a bolt down in the bottom just to make sure that these things don't go nowhere. Let's go ahead and get that done and we'll go over a final review. All right, so let's go ahead and get this cemented in. Steps are done. We got our cement and we got our primer. So 
we're opening up the old purple prim primer. Pop this on out. Alright. Primer. Stuff does get tacky kind of quick. Didn't think about it. Right, I'm this first. See what I ended up doing was adding probably Jesus a little too much uh, wire, probably more than I really needed. But I want to make sure I had a little bit of play. You never want the wire super tight. No. Say when you're setting this stuff, push it in there and give it a good quarter turn. Now you're gonna wanna, gonna wanna make sure that it's straight. Obviously you don't want your lights all cockeyed and facing the other way. It doesn't look horrible. Looks like it possibly could come to the left just a just a hair and that's it now let's go ahead and we'll knock out the other side and have that all done this stuff takes about an hour to harden up 24 hours to cure completely all right so what we did was we tucked all them wires back up in there all the slack that you just seen mine yellow lab in the background so we tucked that up again we put some tape right here on this where it's going to come in or that hole possibly just in case there's any bit of friction we got them all glued up all together both sides completely glued we got the tape going in on this side this is tucked up nice and good And there you have a set of PVC guide posts. Well guys, I hope this video really helped you decide on whether or not you want to pay the $100 for real guide posts or you just want to make them out of PVC like I did. As stated, this ran me about $24 roughly for the whole setup minus the light kit of course. But just for your PVC, it was a 12 foot section of one and a half inch PVC, two 90 degree couplers, the glue with the cement and primer, and then that was it. Everything else was just making some screw holes, adding a couple things. Uh, you, if you have bolts at home, if not, grab some stainless steel or some brass, that way it doesn't rust out on you. Uh, you use that zinc stuff, yeah it's gonna work but it is gonna you know start rusting out and use stainless use brass remember to give this video a thumbs up let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below i'll have a link to the light kit that i used i'll try to put some links down to all the other stuff that was used remember to subscribe to the channel hunting season's right around the corner awesome videos coming up see you guys